Good day, grade 3. Today, we will be discussing about tag questions. So, what is a tag question? When we say tag question, it is a statement followed by a question. Again, a tag question is a statement followed by a question. For you to visualize what I'm talking about, let's have an example. You will help me clean, won't you? You will help me clean is the statement. While won't you is what we call a question tag. And when we combine these two, we will come up with a tag question. Reminders. If a tag question has a positive statement, the question tag at the end is negative. Again, if the statement in the tag question is positive, the question tag must be negative. We use the word not in writing the negative statement or a contraction is used. Let's have an example. Luis will recycle these tomorrow, won't he? Luis will recycle these tomorrow is a positive statement. That's why we used a negative question tag. Another reminder, if a tag question has a negative statement, the question tag at the end is positive. Again, if the statement in the tag question is negative, we must use a positive question tag. Example, you are not going to play, are you? You are not going to play is a negative statement. That's why I, our question tag is positive. So what is a question tag? When we say question tag, it is the question after the statement. Again, a question tag is the question after the statement. So how do we create a question tag? First, if the linking verb or D verb is positive, we have to make it negative. Example, Martha is nice, isn't she? In the statement, Martha is nice, the linking verb there is the word is. And that's the one we are going to transform into a negative form. Second, we have to write the pronoun of the subject. Example, Martha is nice, isn't she? In the statement, Martha is nice, the word Martha is the subject. That's why we have to write the pronoun form of that subject. Now, we already formed the question tag for that statement, which is, isn't she? Next, if the linking verb is negative, change it to positive. This is like the opposite of the first way to create a question tag. Let's take a look at the example. Jean is not doing his work, is he? As you can see, the linking verb is negative, which is the word is not. That's why we change it to positive. And just like the second rule, we have to change the subject into its pronoun form. Next, if the verb is a regular verb, we have to change the verb to does or do if the verb is negative. 
and we have to change it into doesn't or don't if the verb is positive. Example, your mother loves you, doesn't she? As you can see in the statement, your mother loves you, the regular verb is positive, which is loves. That's why we use the word doesn't. And again, we have to change the subject into its pronoun form. Let's have some practice exercises. Complete the tag questions below by providing a question tag. Again, you have to complete the tag questions by simply providing a question tag. Number one, Jeremy and Jenny will run later. What do you think is the question tag that will complete the tag question? Good job! The answer is, won't they? Number two, it is important to take care of our environment. What do you think is the question tag that will complete this tag question? Great! The answer is, isn't it? Number three. The children are not dancing gracefully. What do you think is the question tag that will complete the tag question? Very good! The answer is, are they? Number four, you will sweep the floor. What do you think is the question tag that will complete the tag question? Great! The answer is, won't you? And number five, we should not throw our garbage anywhere. What do you think is the question tag that will complete the tag question? Good job! The answer is, should we? So, that's it for today. Have a blessed day ahead. God bless you. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye!